In this lesson, we're going to prove that each place is 10 times greater than the place to its right. So the thousandth place is 10 times greater than the hundredth place, the hundredth place is 10 times greater than the tenths place, and so on. So we are going to prove that 310 is 10 times the size of 31. This 310 over here is 10 times the size of 31. And we're going to prove it using base 10 blocks. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> so this equation literally says 310 is 10 times the size of 31. Well, let's prove it. So right here, I have one group of 31, and that equals 31. We know this, we know this. So now I'm gonna get another group of 31, another group of 31. Now I have two groups of 31, or in other words, two times 31. So, so far we have 62 right here, right? Two groups of 31. Now we have three groups, four groups of 31, five groups of 31, six groups of 31, seven groups of 31. Keep an eye on this total up here. Eight groups of 31. This is my ninth group of 31. I'm getting close. So this is nine groups of 31 right here. Boom, 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 boom. 10 groups of 31, ladies and gentlemen. 10 groups of 31. So I took the number 31 10 times. And you see, when you have 10 groups of 31, it equals 310, which proves that 310 is 10 times the size of 31. You need 10 groups of those 31s to make 310. Notice that we had one, two, three groups of 10, okay? We had three groups of 10, and then we multiplied it by 10. We now have 10 times more than that. So 10 times more than three tens is three hundreds. You see that? We had three tens, 10 times more than that is three hundreds. And then we had one, group of one, just one group of one, but then we got 10 times more than that, and now we have a 10. 10 times more than one is 10. So we just multiplied 10 times 31. We made 10 groups of 31. Now, if we look at our place value chart, we know 31 is equal to three tens in one one. But then we multiplied it by 10. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when we multiply 31 by 10, really all we did was shift each digit one place to the left, okay? Instead of three tens, now we have three hundreds. Instead of one one, now we have one ten. Whoa, that's pretty interesting, okay? So each digit just shifted over to the left. Three tens became three hundreds, and the one one became one ten. You might be thinking, where did the zero come from? Now we haven't talked about the decimal place yet, but there is a place over here called the tenths place, and we didn't have any of those. And so since we had zero of those, 10 times more than that is still zero. So that's where that zero came from. 